Hello, I hope you are doing very, very well. Um, I don't know if you guessed, but today I'm going to be painting a tribute to Goodnight Moo because um, she really inspires me and I love her videos. And even though I've only ever seen her paint with acrylics, um, I'm going to do this in watercolour because she gives me watercolour vibes. Yep, I hope you enjoy. I decided to just portray her as Erin, but I was considering drawing her as Mrs. Pippet Whistle or one of her other Babblebrook characters. So I finished drawing out the basic guidelines using this blue pen. I think I got her smile okay, but I did a lot of mistakes in the chin area, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> maybe go in with some acrylic paint after I've done the watercolour to hide those mistakes there and with her teeth as well but I'm pretty happy with it and hopefully it'll turn out just as lovely and graceful as she is okay time to paint I will be using these very used watercolor paints here are the fine paint brushes I will be using for this portrait I began blocking in the warm red for this and I wanted her hair to be as flowy as possible. I got the main colours in but as you can see the paper is warping a lot. I thought this paper was um, stronger and more like card but I guess it wasn't made for watercolour. Ah well, hopefully it will dry out okay. And so began my struggle with her eyebrows. The watercolour medium was quite unforgiving and the eyebrows bled out a lot during this process, but eventually I managed to clean them up a bit. As you can see here, I'm trying to create shadow and using brown, which I did think was a mistake because it made all the lighting way too harsh. but. In the end, I think this piece ended up resolving itself. And here I'm just trying really hard to get some nice natural looking freckles. And I used white acrylic to fix up the mistakes I had on the teeth because my drawing made it look like she had braces. Regrettably, I neglected putting that bright pop of highlight that she always does on the inner corner of her eyes using the white. And I'm using the dark brown again to go in with the finer details. And I managed to clean up her eyebrows. I'm coming up to the final stages. Erin's currently looking like this. I'm gonna add some glitter or something sparkly around it. Yep, so I'll leave that for tonight. I'll come back and work on it again. Bye. I'm going to take a photo of this and put it into Procreate and then edit it digitally. So I just put it into the normal iPad photo editing function that the camera has and I manipulated the vibrance, the warmth, I experimented with the contrast as well, I did some noise reduction so that the watercolours would flow more smoothly into one another. I then was happy with that and I put the photo into Procreate where I further cleaned things up, added more makeup, added texture to the hair, added highlights. I did do that iconic pop of white highlight in the inner creases of her eyes that she loves doing. And I added text that says welcome to Babblebrook because I felt like it would be a warm introduction to her amazing world building channel. Thanks so much for watching.